Hey friends, quick reminder here, always begin with yourself. Why? Because it's the only thing that exists. So we have to stop looking outside of ourselves because that's futile, literally futile if there's intense suffering going on inside. Okay? Your suffering is a call for action. It's a call for observation. It's a call for you to become ding, 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 conscious. Conscious that your consciousness is the operating force of all of this. You are receiving creation. You are receiving creation. You are always receiving creation like breath. It's as natural as breath. But are you aware of what you are conscious of being or the lack thereof? Because if we're disturbed, if we're uncomfortable, if we're suffering, there's no one to blame but us going to look in the mirror and hand on heart, I love you, babe. All right? We got to love ourselves enough and appreciate ourselves enough to slow it down and roll into our hearts. All right? Because when we're resting in our hearts, when we're being this, not seeking it, it's a completely different frequency. It's a completely different world. It's a completely different reality because your world is your consciousness. So obviously, if you shift your consciousness, what happens? Your world shifts. And what's consciousness? It's everything that's appearing. It's your thoughts. It's your words. It's your deeds. It's your actions. It's your imagination. It's your memory. Everything that appears is consciousness. This is why observation is the greatest skill you can learn in this lifetime. Because without it, we're just automatons, we're robots. But you are the power. But what are you gifting to yourself? Are you telling yourself you are the blessing or the curse? Are you telling yourself you're just a mere mortal? Or are you that? Are you the I am? The I am presence is always here. It's what watches, it's what looks. It's the sense of existence itself. That's why we must come home to ourselves. That's why we must be in this body. This is a living temple. This is a living breath. This is the aliveness of God goddess appearing as form. So when we deny ourselves, we're denying all of creation. And that's why our world seems so disturbing and distressed. Because we're not loving ourselves. We're not conscious with our bodies. And you can tell right now, when you come home to yourself, you bring all the power in. There is an energy and an aliveness you can feel viscerally through your avatar. That energy current that moves through your body is life force. It is source, okay? Your mind is never going to understand what I say in these videos or what I write about in posts. I'm speaking to your sacred heart, which is already awake. It's clear. It's confident. It's ancient. It knows, all right? This is why it all ends in being. It all ends with you here. But will we stop? Will we drop and roll into that heart? Because this is a choice if you're conscious. So let's choose love. Let's choose ourselves. Let's choose to save ourselves and be the living light instead of looking for it. Mm, 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 mm. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, rodeo. Mm. All right. <laughs> I'm off. You have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care.